is it a is it easy for you guys to drown out the noise surrounding the quarterback situation, or is it a distraction? I think you know they keep us so busy around here. I you know I don't check social media even. I mean it's like you don't have time to really even think about it. You're worried about yourself. You're worried about corrections from the practice before. You know install what we're going to do this practice uh, meetings. You know I mean there's so much going on that we don't think about it. No. So. So I understand there's already been a kind of a, for lack of a better word, a, a cleansing where there's you guys talk. And I just think uh, closure, you know, I mean, we're, we're all ready to move forward. Um, it's not about those two guys, what happens with that. We're going to play regardless. Um, and we're just excited to, you know, get back out on the field, be together and uh, grow as a team and grow as a family as well, closer together and um, just get ready for the season. So. At the end of the day, it's going to be a good thing because it's weird to have a meeting two or three practices in, right? Right. Um, yeah, I mean, I think it was a good thing. Uh, just. Get everything out on the table and just go forward. You know, put it put it to the side, put it to rest, and uh, we're just excited to be. You know, like I said, as a team together and go forward, move forward together. So, what uh, what type of improvements year over year have you seen from guys like Alex Leatherwood and Jed Close? I just think the knowledge of the offense, technique. Um, you know, I mean, Jed going from tackle to guard is a big move. Uh, it's not something that you know happens easily, especially playing with the ones where you can get exposed a lot easier if you don't know your stuff. Um, so I just think him. Uh, just picking up on little techniques, you know, playing faster at the guard position. And as far as Wood, uh, you know, he, he's obviously a great player. And um, just for him, it's just technique, same thing. You know, technique, knowledge of the offense, plays, knowing what's going on, checks to it and stuff like that. So I think, you know, I've noticed a big difference in both those two. Has it been easy to adjust to the coaching staff and Bruce team play? Yeah. Uh, I think, you know, the offense has stayed consistent. And um, calls have stayed consistent as well. So for older guys, you know, it's nothing new, but um, just different personalities in the room. And, uh, you know, Coach Loxley's done a really good job of, you know, kind of setting the standard and what he wants, what he expects from us. So, um, you know, there's no drop off there. And we know as an offense what we need to accomplish. Um, does consistency really mean a lot to the players? Or do you have the same mindset year in and year out? Right, yeah. And I think Coach Haven's done a good job of that, is just setting what he wants out of the offense and what we're going to do. And you know, as the offensive coordinators have came in, it's it stayed the same. So um, philosophy might be a little bit different, or their personalities, like I said. But um, overall, you know, same offense. So, what's the key? Is there a key in, in, uh, to progressing each day with where you are that you've learned maybe from being here longer for years? You know, where you, you know what I mean? Before you get the heads on, and it'll get old in two weeks. And all that right. Stuff. I think uh, just know your strengths and know your weaknesses and try to play to your strengths and, you know, kind of limit your weaknesses. And, you know, for me, it's like at the center position, know what I'm good at, know what I'm not good at, and then try to, you know, emphasize what I'm good at. And then, I mean, in practice, really try to work on my weaknesses and try to eliminate them as much as I can. So for me, just kind of, you know, seeing what I'm bad at and what I'm not having success like I want to in practice and just working on that, you know, just really grind on that and uh, try to catch those things up. And so I think yeah, everyone's kind of evaluating themselves and trying to do that. So uh, just get as good as you can. This is probably a dumb question. It's probably way too early. But has it dawned on you yet that that was my last day three practice of my career here? You know what I mean? You may not have Not, not yet. this yet. No, it's dawned on me about the – that was my last spring, my last summer. So, I, I mean, we were running 110s. I said that's the last 110 I'm ever going to run in my entire life, which was, you know, not a bad thing. So, um, yeah, I, I've kind of checked those things off in my head. But um, camp, that'll be a big thing to check off uh, once, it, once it is coming to a close. But for now, you know, we're just focused. It's so early in camp that you can't even think about that. So um, we're just focused on getting better. Can you talk about the camaraderie that you have with guys like Lester Cotton? Yeah, you know, those two guys played a lot of ball around here, um, been around for a long time. A lot of, you know, a lot of guys look up to them. And so it's just awesome to have them, you know, next to us and next to me. Um, so, yeah, I'm just excited to see what they're going to accomplish this year. You know, uh, Lester going into his fourth year and Jonah going into his third year. You know, um, we're expecting big things and uh, a lot of camaraderie along the offensive line. So, uh, yeah, I'm just excited and we've got a lot of potential. But, um, you know, we're, it doesn't mean much until we go out and play. Good, thanks. Appreciate it. Yep.